Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're having a and W. Welcome back to another car mukbang. So today I went to a and W. This was requested by Caitlin. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Um, I'm also going to be doing a few shout outs. Um, so my and a and W is, this is covering my face, is um, like m mixed with, it's like a and W and KFC. So I got a Coney chili cheese dog. I got a five piece of their corn dog nuggets. I think, I think they call them nuggets, corn dog nuggets. I got sriracha cheese curds, about to open that up, and then I got a two piece of their, um, I think it's new, they gave me two, oh my god, okay, okay, whatever, I'm, okay, <laughs> I'm a little frustrated, but it's okay, there's worse things happening, let's just eat. And I'll tell you. These are good. I've had these before. So. I got the two piece. They gave me two sides of coleslaw. Instead of fries. So it's supposed to come with fries and coleslaw. They gave me two sides of coleslaw. And then just three fish. I would have preferred the fries, but whatever. So the lady had me pull around and um, wait, because I guess I had to wait for the corn dogs. Okay, she said it was going to be five minutes. Five minutes goes by. I can't. I think I like their coleslaw now. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try it. So, she told me it was going to be five minutes. So, I wait five minutes and I'm like, okay, maybe they're busy. Another five minutes goes by and I'm like, okay, ten minutes. You know, my order wasn't that big. And I saw somebody else who had gone through drive through um, after I had already been waiting. So, I'm just like estimating. And he came out with a big old bag of food. And I'm like, okay, like mine for sure should have been done. So I go in and I guess they gave my order to somebody else. So Ooh, I don't know if I like their tartar sauce. I'm sorry. This video is already off to a bad start. Our tartar sauce is sweet. They're close, so I was, you know, good. I got a Dr. Pepper to drink. So, I mean, at least they gave me three pieces of fish, right? Actually, this coleslaw is pretty good. It's really crunchy. mini corn dog I feel like they don't really have anything special I should have asked Caitlin what she likes I forgot that I was supposed to do some shout outs so um I'm just gonna put this in the beginning of the video I've already eaten and everything um, somewhere in the beginning so I have these shout outs that I've had written down and I've been meaning to get to them but um, anyways, so yeah, shout out to Caitlin for requesting a and um, shout out to Ambie Eats, Kenny and Dawn, and Michaela Miller. Um, Ambie Eats, she has a YouTube channel, she does mukbangs, and Kenny and Dawn, they just started their mukbang channel, so go check them out. 
Michaela Miller. I can't remember if you have a channel or not, but um, or you just you just requested a shout out. So shout out to you. Um, yeah, those are the three that I have written down. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for your support, and let's continue on with the video. <laughs> Bye. And I tried to stay away from a burger because they just look basic. So. But this is all really good. Ooh, this is hot. So today's Tuesday. How should I eat this? You guys will see this the same day. Mm. That's pretty good. She gave me napkins. Um, so let me update you guys. Last week I didn't have a chance to film. I've been dealing with some stuff with Sophia. Um, that she's been going through for a while now. And it escalated to the point where, like, she was having to be escorted to the car because I pick her up. She was having to be escorted to the car. And being advised not to go to her last period class. So, I know, like, Sophia tells me. She might not tell me everything, but she tells me a lot of what what's going on and a lot of drama. And, um, once she, so she was escorted one day and then the next day she had to be escorted again. And I'm like, what the heck? So I call the principal, leave a message. He doesn't get back to me. So then the next day I show up to the office and I tell the secretary I'm willing to wait all day if I have to, but I need to speak, speak to the principal. So, and her counselors and everything knew about it, knew like what was going on, but... <sighs> And I'm not saying that Sophia is 100% innocent, but Sophia knows that if I'm going to go stand up for her and advocate for her, like, she needs to be telling me the truth. And we had to go through this before, but, um, she knows that if I go in there and I find out she's lying, she's not only going to get the full consequence from the school, but she's going to get the full consequence from me. So she knows that. She already knows that, and I stand by my daughter 100%. So, Mama Bear had to do what Mama Bear had to do. So, I'm not going to go into detail about what's going on, but I was in and out of that school multiple times throughout the day, all week last week. Um, so... I've been very like stressed out because you know I want the best for my daughter and we want to find out exactly what's going on and what's causing everything and there's just a bunch of kids involved it's not like just a simple like 
one-on-one -on -one isolated situation. It's a lot of stuff. So with that being said, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And Sophia is priority. So I hope you guys can understand that. And with me being, you know, it just stresses me out. gives me anxiety because I'm like, it's almost like fight or flight mode because I need to stand up for my daughter. You know, I need to advocate for her. So, and I'm willing to do that. As long as she's telling me the truth, I'm willing to do that 100%. I stand by my kids. If they tell me they didn't do something, I will support them 100%. And so, that's what I'm doing right now. We went through this in sixth grade, and she tried lying to me about something. Um that she didn't do something and I basically told her counselor I was like no she's not about to get the consequence for something that she didn't do and um and then I spoke with Sophia and I told her look you know I'm willing to go the mile for you but the second I find out you're lying to me and that's when she came clean better to tell the truth and face the consequence of whatever action you did um, and just learn from it and move on so she learned from that I'm hoping and I'm advocating for my daughter but she ended up coming clean this was a couple years ago and um, she she got um, pretty serious consequence for for lying Because then that breaks my trust, you know? If I'm going to go in there and fight the school for you, you know, and then come to find out you're, you lied to me about it, I, wouldn't, it, I will definitely hesitate to do that for you again. So... Here we are, anyways. Mm. Sorry about the lighting. It's the sun is out. It's supposed to be really nice today. Almost supposed to get up to seventy. So yeah. I was dealing with that all week last week and this, of course I'm like my adrenaline's going I'm like ready to fight these teachers I would never fight like whatever but you know let them know that I'm serious mm. my daughter's safety and mental health is number one so on top of that dealing with the house process we had the inspection done um, and we weren't gonna be nit nitpicky about the little things that needed to be done but anything major you know we were going to you know be willing to like I don't know basically there was a major issue a significant issue not major but significant to where we told the sellers hey let's get a bid we'll see how much it costs and you know we'll negotiate from there and so they agreed. We got the bid done for the work that needed to be done. And this is like under 10 grand, but so Jose and I, and it was something that could have been prevented on the seller's side if they would have 
you know, kept up with the maintenance on their house. And um, so, yeah, we're in the negotiation stages right now. We asked that they pay 100% um, to get it fixed either before closing or give us the the cost at closing and we'll have it done ourselves after we move in. But um, they came back, and this was like verbal, um, they came back with 50-50 and we said, no way. So the last we spoke to them, um, it was 75-25. Excuse me. So, we'll see. We haven't gotten the counter proposal or whatever it is yet, so that's what we're waiting for. It is hot in here. It's heating up. Okay much better so yeah that's where we're at Jose and I are so excited well this morning I was kind of bummed out because Jose was like dead set 100% and I'm like ooh but then I you know I need to let him I was kind of upset because hmm we're already going to have to put money into the house for the other things. And it's not like just a couple of things. Like there's, there's an older house, but there are a few things and everything adds up. We don't know how to do everything. So we're going to have to pay people to come out and have that done, you know? So it's the labor that's going to cost a lot. So. I got kind of sad today because I thought we were gonna lose the house like go out go out of contract and have to start looking again but we'll see it's not nothing's official yet so we're still in contract still pending all right these are really good. They're not very spicy, though. But they are really good. I'm going to finish this coleslaw. I used to not like their coleslaw. But it's actually good. the fish. I'm going to take that home. So, I'm really sorry that I didn't upload last week. I've just been busy. Literally taking Sophia to school. Then I had to go pick her up early because to avoid conflicts and a part of me wanted to just take her out and transfer schools um but I didn't I don't really want to do that because like we're going to be moving soon anyways and I don't want her to go to a new school and then have to once we move because we're moving to a different state to then have to go to another new school so but I mean if I have to that's what I have to do then and she doesn't like it of course, no no kid wants to go to a new school where you don't know anybody, but this will all pass, I believe. It's just everything's really high, like all the emotions. And the principal said that it's common, like right before spring break, everything just kind of builds up and 
the week before spring break is always hectic and it's unfortunate that it had to be happen with Sophia but whatever and I told the principal I was like I'll do whatever it takes but you know this needs to be this needs to be resolved so I feel confident that when she goes back to school things will hopefully have settled down but you never know it's middle school girls will be girls what can I do I can only advise her you know so anyways I love you guys so much positive thoughts pro positive vibes positive energy from you guys would be you know it's a hundred percent welcome and I am grateful for it but um, I need that right now I'm just just stressed out just so much on my mind with the house with Sophia moving um, but other than that everything else is great so <sighs> I love you guys so much. It's hot in here. I need to turn the AC on. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys have been good. Have been good. I hope you're doing good. You're doing well. Everything is great. Um, you know. Yeah. All good vibes. All positive energy. Alright. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys soon in a brand new video. Bye.